Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So right after the market opening, we saw some heavy, crazy volatility in the market. And as per our expectation, this resistance level of 1672-73 is still very much intact. Though market did not hit the exact level, but still we could see that our resistance zone of 1670-75 played a very big role, played a very crucial role. And after that, we saw some uh, strong price rejection from above as well. So overall, the levels that we discussed on Saturday are still very much intact. So I do not want to repeat the same stuff and bore you so if you are looking for detailed analysis then please watch the video after i upload it on saturday i'll be pasting down the link below in the description box but before i proceed my dear friends just few days left for the world's most affordable forex trading workshop if you're really serious about trading if you're really struggling with the market right now if you have been trading for a long time but still you are unable to make money then you can consider signing up for this workshop because I have kept the fees very low, extremely low, probably the lowest in the whole world because this is for serious learners only. Many of you have contacted for signal service. My dear friends, this is not a signal service because the main goal of the whole workshop and pro trader program is to make you an independent trader so that you can become self-sufficient, um, Okay, so that you are not dependent on anyone. Okay, so please watch the link in the description if you really want to take up trading as a serious source of income, not a signal service. Okay. And before, and see, not before, because see, after the workshop, you'll also receive one month of free service, which is, um, you will not find anywhere else. Okay. Anyways, let's jump to the chart. So the levels that we discussed on Saturday are still very much intact. Or there's no doubt about it. Right now, market is standing at 16.53. This is the current market price. If I take you to the one-hour time frame, you can see that in a one-hour time frame also there is uh, not much difference on the chart, and on the one-hour time frame also we do not see any proper support. Still, just we can see that market is standing at the red line, 200 moving average. If I take you to 15 minutes time frame also, you can see the same stuff. So in this particular range, in this particular level here, you will not find any proper reason to consider it as a support. So my dear friends, the main <coughs> reason behind discussing about all this chart is that if you really love your capital, if you really love your hard earned money, then please avoid trading in positions like this. Okay, You should avoid levels like this. If I take a DXY, then on the chart of DXY, we can see that as per our expectation that we discussed on Saturday, okay, market came down and market DXY respected the 200 moving average and it bounced immediately. So our expectation is very much valid. So there may be some recovery uh, during the day or at least we will see DXY trying to respect the 200 moving average as support. If I take a 10 year bond chart, then you can see that in the bond chart market, okay, market is uh, showing some profit booking, but I think that bond will try to take support around this level 4.044% here because we have the 50 moving average plus Fibonacci 38.2% retracement level. So I think market, if market comes down to this level also, market will be bouncing and if bond start bouncing again we will see selling pressure some selling pressure on the chart of gold okay at least for day trading purpose so no new levels just keep in mind the previous levels are still very much intact in this chart of gold okay in this chart of gold according to me 1620 to 1617 is the best support in case market comes down then observe the market on 1620, 1617 level. If you see market bouncing, you can definitely go for a buy position. But I was looking at an article on FX Street, and you can see 
that goal pullback ice 1630 support on former US fed bench okay so 1630 may also act as a good support but to be honest personally i will not trade on 1630 i will wait for my personal level that is 1620 that i see on the chart and if market goes up then yes obviously the resistance level that we discussed on saturday are still very much valid 16 72 or 1670 also to 75 so if market goes up during the day watch the market around this level if you see the market is uh, market is unable to cross the level if you are seeing the market is showing price rejection from above then you can definitely take a sell position but during the day if there is a sudden drop on dxy and if you see a sharp rise okay bahut agar upar jata hai, then obviously market will break 1670 to 75 in that case your next important resistance will be this around 1685 88 level so as a trader you need to observe the market at the important levels not to trade here and there blindly this is the main duty of a trader so this is the main difference between a trader and a gambler okay so these are the levels that you need to observe nothing has changed in the market but yes there was some vol crazy volatility during the day so whatever you do please follow proper risk management this is my lesson i can be wrong as well your lesson can be wrong as well so capital protection should be your first priority okay so do not gamble with your hard-earned money bye bye take care happy diwali